look, law enforcement runs in the blood. In the, it's in the family genes, if you will, right? Yeah. How did your training help you that particular night? Um, it was almost like second instance, uh, second instant, right? When the events happened, it just automatically went through my head. What do we do in training every time? Just when you have a wound, you apply pressure and it was second nature. And for you, as the sheriff said, you were trying to help this woman. I saw the video, you know, you're just trying to talk her. She seemed upset and you were just trying to engage with her, right? Yes, my goal was just to get her off the beach, bring her up to the roadway where the ambulance, we can get her an ambulance, figure out what's going on, what's going on in this crash and try to get her help. But at the end of the day, you never know what's going to happen. And in this case, you know, literally you kept, what did you do? You applied pressure after the incident? Yes, I just uh, I had my flashlight in my left hand. I just used my flashlight in my hand just to hold my neck as hard as I could to try to get all that bleeding to stop. How, how long were you off and are you glad to be back on the job? Um, I was off for about two and a half months and I'm really glad to be back. I'm enjoying it more and more every day. Why? Um, it's never, it's not the same job where you're just going to go in doing paperwork every day. It's something new every day, being able to go out and help everybody, hang out with the community and just meet new people. And did the fact that your dad and brother part of law enforcement as well, did that kind of get, hey, I like that track. I think I'm going to go that way too. Yes, it did. I actually, um, my dad talked to me about it. I got to do a ride along to see what people do every day on this job. And that's where I found interest. What was it like to have to testify and see her back in court again? It was different. Um, just happy it's over with. Got to testify and get it over with.